Hello, Dr. Johansson here. I really go by Dr. J, but either way is fine. Um, I want to go through the syllabus with you just to point out some important information. Um, it is up to you to read the entire syllabus. Remember that this is a contract between you and I um, for this class. So, first of all, best way to contact me is email. So there's my email. There is my office, 2073 Science, right near the main biology office, but down a weird little hallway. Um, I will be there Mondays and Wednesdays, 9 a.m. to 10.30. I teach introductor, introdu <laughs> introduction to biotechnology from um, 11 to 12.15. Um, so I am flexible if you give me advance warning, but because I have two online classes, I usually do most of that work from home. Um, so if office hours don't work and you want to meet at some point, um, just send me an email and we can try to find a, a mutually agreeable time. Um, there is a required textbook, um, Becker's World of the Cell, um, ninth edition. It's been out for a while, so it hopefully has come down in price. Um, you could also use the 8th edition. So you'll see in the lecture schedule, I'll show you in a minute, um, I, I give you options for both. Um, I highly encourage you to um, get the textbook. Um, I also highly encourage you to watch my lecture videos because I try to go through uh, most of the material, but the textbook is also helpful to maybe sometimes put things in bigger context or get more um, details. Communication. So I will be sending you announcements through Canvas and you want to make sure you get notified um, that there's an announcement from your email. So what I suggest you do is you go to your account and go to notifications and you click for announcement. You make it a green check or a box around a white check, green box. Um, and then you should receive any announcements I send as an email. Um, that way you're not missing out on anything. Um, so you can read about email etiquette. The main thing is make sure you give me your name, full name, and that this is cell biology. Um, I have three classes. I have um, over 100 and... I can't do math, about 130 students this semester. Um, so it makes it easier on me to know what class you're talking about, um, especially since I don't get to meet you face to face. Um, I'm not as good with online names. Learning objectives, if you watched the first video, you saw that there's learning objectives for every chapter in the weekly modules. Those are your study guides for the quizzes and unit exams. So what you have going on this semester is you have chapter quizzes. So I'm going to jump over to the cell biology lecture schedule. See if I can make it a little bit bigger. Um, so you can see chapter one quiz, chapter two, three, four quiz, chapter seven quiz, and a unit exam, like all due on the same Sunday. But remember that quizzes and exams are open from Wednesday through Sunday. So you can take the unit exam as soon as you're ready for it, as soon as it opens on a Wednesday, and then work through the chapter seven stuff and get it done by Sunday. Totally your choice. The units are color coded and also um, represented here by the numbers so that you know exactly what is on each unit exam. So the unit exam is only going to be, for example, unit one, chapters one through four in the appendix. Even though you're working on chapter seven, that's not due until the unit two um, chapter exams. You also have homeworks that are due. Those are due on Wednesdays so that I have time to post answers, answer keys. Um, and so that you can look through them because there is information from homework assignments a little bit more challenging kinds of questions on um, the unit exams. There is no homework for unit one, so um, there will be no homework types of questions on unit one exam. 
It's also super important is you have a practice quiz due Sunday, January 26th. And this, so let's go to our homepage. Um, I'm not looking at it. Okay, let me do student view. So it looks like what you see. So a couple different ways to get to it. You can click on here, practice quiz. You can go to the modules and in unit one, there's practice quiz and practice assignment information and practice quiz. So you want to read through this. The point of the practice quiz, it's all based on information in the syllabus, is to have you practice um, a timed quiz, let you see the different types of questions. So there's multiple choice questions, there's short answer, and there's a, there are choose all that apply. So I'm going to jump to that part of the syllabus because it's a little confusing. Okay, check all that apply questions. You can see these on quizzes, you can see these on unit exams. Um, they're graded kind of weird, so I'm warning you right now. Um, for these questions, you lose points for incorrect answers. That's how Canvas grades it. I will always tell you there are three correct answers, there are four correct answers, there are two correct answers. And so what you want to do, so this is explaining if there was three correct answers and you picked two that were correct and one that was incorrect, right? You're going to get points for the two that are correct, but you're going to lose points for the one that's incorrect. So the net score is only for one correct answer. This is to discourage guessing. Um, and so a hint is if you're only positive about two of the three correct answers, you can just pick two and leave the third one unpicked. And if they're correct, you'll get points for both correct answers. So kind of a test taking strategy. Um, don't, don't go just randomly guess because incorrect answers could knock out your points that you were getting for correct answers. There's not a lot of these questions, maybe one or two on each quiz, um, but they're a little more challenging. So let's see where we're we. Um, so you have a practice quiz and a practice assignment submission due. Um, so the practice assignment is due February 16th, and this is to practice submitting an assignment with text, with an image, and with a copied paragraph. Yes, I'm asking you to plagiarize so that when you submit this assignment, you'll get a Turnitin score and um, you'll see a red flag because you'll have a lot of plagiarism. That's okay. Um, and that way you can click on it and you can see how Turnitin works. So the whole point of this is to practice submitting an uh, assignment correctly so that when you go to do the homework for real, you're confident that you know what type of um, file to submit, how to embed images around with text around it, and what it means for turn it in. So do that. Um, they're basically worth 1% of your grade each. Should be an easy 2%. Okay, chapter quizzes, 14 possible. You can drop the lowest two. Once things get going, Canvas will automatically drop the lowest two. You have five homework assignments throughout the semester. You can drop the lowest one. You have three unit exams. They're each worth 12% uh, of your final grade. Um, and then you have a unit four exam that's worth a little bit more, 14%, because it has some cumulative material. So there's a few things from earlier units that I want you to make sure you review. For the final, I will post a um, review um, for that cumulative part as we get near the end of the semester. So things are weighted, so it doesn't really matter how many points each quiz is, they are all worth 2%, okay? Or how many points each homework is, they're all worth 6% of your grade. Um, there's 102% worked into this uh, grading. That means you have 2% extra credit built in. So if you do everything perfectly, which of course no one ever does, 
you would get 102% of the class. You've got 2% you could miss and still get 100% of the class. Okay, so um, the other really easy way to um, get some points is introduce yourself. I like to get to know who my students are. And so that's over here in the discussions. And here is introduce yourself. So it is due February 5th. And if you click on it, it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Okay. And then here is a little bit about me and yeah I'm kind of a crazy rocker so what you would do is just click reply and you would start your own post okay so if you do that and you make sure there's some kind of image representing you in your profile talk about your favorite biology class your goals and a fun fact about you then you get two percent of your final grade just like that don't forget to do that. Um, okay. Because extra credit and stuff is built in, I don't round up grades. You've got to earn the 90% the, um, for an A or the 80% for a B. Um, grade breakdown is right here. So here are the percentages. Um, due dates. Everything is 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, so if you have slow internet or you have an annoying roommate who bugs you, don't leave things to the last minute because when 11.59 clicks, it Canvas closes the um, submission uh, opening and you can't submit anything. And I don't accept late assignments. So don't, don't, don't leave things to the last minute. Um, all right, so we talked about this. You have chapter quizzes each week. Um, they're open Wednesday through Sunday. It talks about um, the questions. Um, come Monday through the following Sunday, the answers to the quizzes will be available. If you want to see what you missed and what the correct answers are, you need to look during this time period. They will not be open later in the semester. I don't reopen them. Um, it's important for you to self-evaluate while everything is fresh. So make yourself a note. Go look back through my um, quiz for the correct answers. If you miss a quiz for any reason, any reason, excused, unexcused, doesn't matter, that will count first towards your dropped quizzes, and then you'll start earning zeros. Okay, so I have 90 of you. I'm not going to deal with... Um, I was out of town or this happened or whatever don't leave things to the last minute okay if it comes Sunday night your internet goes out that's your issue okay I, um, I give you a big window to get things completed so the only time uh, computer issues are allowed is if canvas itself goes down and I always get notifications if that happens so don't leave things last minute. Um, you have homework. You have five homework assignments, and they're worth six percent. <coughs> excuse me, each of your final grade. You may work alone with a partner, or with two partners in a group of three. <coughs> okay. So where you go for homework. <coughs> And there's instructions in the important stuff module. But you can click on people. I don't think it lets me do this as a student. And there are some of your classmates. Homework groups. Okay. And so I don't know exactly how because I can't do it. But you put yourself into a homework group. They will max out at three students. Canvas doesn't let me do this as a pretentious <coughs> student. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I suggest you do is if you want a homework partner and maybe you don't know people in class, 
you go to the discussions and you would say, I would like a homework partner. And you put your name and maybe something about you or, or how you want to work. Um, and then hopefully people reply. And then you guys say, oh, look, homework group five is open. Let's all put our names in there. Okay. It's really great if you come back once you're done and you figure this out. If you delete, you can just go to these three little dots and um, you can delete your post. That way you don't have people keep going, hey, can I be in your group? Hey, can I be in your group? Um, it's optional, but it's kind of nice. So you can establish a group. If you don't want to work in a group, you want to work by yourself, you don't have to do anything. Just do the homework and turn it in. There are in the modules, if I did this, I'm doing all the way at the bottom. Um, okay. That's interesting. I'm just curious. Oh, it's locked. Okay, good. Whew. Sometimes I wonder if I set things up right. So down in the very last module, it has all the homework assignments. Okay, sorry. So homework one, click on that. It has the um, assignment, all the questions. Do not include the questions, okay? It, then it looks like plagiarism and then I have to look at stuff and it makes extra work for me, so don't do it. But. And there it says, don't include your questions. You go, number one, describe the properties of membrane lipids that make a membrane fluid. Give at least three examples. So on your paper, you just type one and you type in your answer. Everything except for diagrams must be typed. We will not grade handwritten homework. In the module, the week that the homework is due, so homework one is due week five. There's your homework one submission link. So this is what you click, and then it should let you um, submit your assignment. Okay. Um, okay. So that is homework. Um, like I said, sometimes only certain questions are graded for correctness, um, others are graded for completeness. Making myself a note here. Um, so you will know how the homework was graded once I post the key. All right, so that describes partners, that describes creating a homework group. I really suggest you work as a team. <clears throat> always ends up people um, uh, just assign. Okay, you do number one through three, you do four, five, six, I'll do seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> and then I'll get these emails. Dr. J, blah, 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 didn't do their part of the homework. That's too bad, okay? I'm, I'm not going to <clears throat> mitigate everybody gets the same score for the homework. So if someone turns in crappy answers and you haven't looked over them, you could lose points for those. Right, so I really suggest you work as a team. I also suggest you work personally through the homework questions, maybe not writing out long, beautiful answers, but maybe taking some notes because remember, there are questions that are similar to the homework on the unit exams. Um, again, this talks about if you put your answer, your questions in, you will automatically lose 10% of that assignment. Um, all your homework goes through something called Turn It In, which looks for plagiarism. Okay, so it has a, a bank of not only outside sources, but um, old homework assignments from previous semesters. So if you get a hold of someone's and you copy them, and you get hit with plagiarism, then not only will you get a zero for that assignment, but you get a strike. Okay. Um, where, well, academic, we'll get, we'll get there, okay? I have a two strike policy. If you get caught plagiarizing or cheating two times in the class, you will fail the class and you will be sent to CLAS ethics committee, okay? 
Um, so I'm nice. I give you one. You shouldn't need one. There is no reason to plagiarize. There is nothing that has to be so beautifully written that you can't write it in your own words. Okay. I look at every Turnitin score. So I have had people with 3% on their Turnitin score, 3% plagiarism, and that 3% was a whole phrase or a whole sentence that they copied and they failed that assignment. I've had sometimes 20 or 30% plagiarism and it's because it's found weird keywords in a chart or something. Um, so I look at everyone and, and evaluate. Uh, <clears throat> If Turnitin cannot read your homework and you get a gray flag, you must resubmit your homework in a different format. Okay? Sometimes it's because it has too many images that are too large. And in that case, <clears throat> what I want you to do is submit the words in one document. And then if you have a document with the words and the images, um, that's totally fine. Just leave me a note when you submit saying, my first submission came back with a gray flag. It was too large for Turnitin to look at. So here are my just words, the answers, and then I can grade accordingly. But you'll need both files in, right? Files with the words and images, and then just the words so I can make sure your words are not plagiarized. Um, again, I wouldn't leave things to the last minute. Turnitin can take an hour or two to um, scan and check. So if you turn it in at 11.50 and it comes back with a lot of plagiarism or it comes back that it can't read it and you don't have time to resubmit, you're going to get a zero for that assignment. Um, also make sure, double check what you turned in. People sometimes turn in the wrong file. I've had files from different business classes. Um, I will read the last file that you submit unless you leave me a note to look at something else. Um, so always check, make sure all your images came through. Um, you know, make sure you didn't grab the wrong document from your group and it missing questions six, seven, and eight or something like that. Once the deadline hits, I only grade what has been submitted. Help with homework. You may have seen a discussion that says homework help. So this is where you go and you say um, write a reply. That's how you always start a, a discussion thread. Um, homework one, question five. I don't understand blah blah blah. Okay. If people put these and you understand the question, please help out. Um, if I see that no one's answered it, I will give you some hints. I won't give you the answer because the whole point is for you to work through this material, but I will give you hints. So this is a great place. If you send me personal emails about homework, I'm gonna tell you, please post it in the discussion because most of the time, multiple people have the same question. And if I post it here, then I don't have to answer it over and over. Okay, I know, so going through the syllabus is not fun, but it's really important. Okay, I've talked to you about unit exams. Read this. Uh, quizzes and exams are taken individually. Um, like I said in the previous, you can use cheat sheets. Um, it's fine with me, but there are time limits. So you're not going to have time to look up all the answers. You need to study. Here's information about the Introduce Yourself. We've already talked about it. There's no extra credit assignments for this class. You've already got a 2% buffer. Um, online class means you are relying on technology. So make sure you have reliable internet. If it cuts out in the middle of a quiz, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, if you open a quiz and then someone distracts you and you don't complete it, once it closes, you're done. So make sure you're sitting down um, just like you would in a in class, face-to-face -face class, quiet place focused on taking your quiz or um, unit exam. There are computers on campus that you can use. You know there's Wi-Fi at libraries and Starbucks. Um, so if you don't have good uh, internet at home, 
there are other places you can go. Whew. Okay. Uh, it's so hard without anybody asking questions. Let's keep rambling. All right. We've talked about chapter objectives. These are your guides for the material. Um, we've mentioned your I've mentioned you're responsible for everything posted on Canvas, so announcements, home pages, all of that stuff. Um, there are lectures online through my videos. Got weekly modules. If you have technical issues with Canvas, you've got to contact Canvas. I cannot do anything. Um, sometimes people have issues in Canvas for some reason needs to reset their account what that means but um, they will help you with all your technical stuff <clears throat> a last few bits of admin kind of information if there are religious um, observances or holidays coming up um, this spring that you will uh, you have a conflict with I need to know ASAP um, I have big windows open for everything that's due so it shouldn't be a uh, issue um, if you have um, accommodations through DRS, you need to let me know ASAP. I can easily increase uh, times for quizzes and exams. But since you now know everything that's due, um, I don't extend deadlines. You need to plan to get your homework in on time, your quizzes done on time, things like that. Um, if there are issues with grading, um, you need to let me know within a week. So um, come, it always happens at the end of the semester, I'm not going to go back and look at chapter 7 quiz because you think you really got a point right. Um, you need to do this immediately, okay? Keep while things are fresh. Um, always look through everything that's graded. Uh, okay, academic integrity um, here again is my two strikes rule. Um, first infraction is a zero on that assignment or quiz or, or exam. Um, second is a failure in the class. Okay. Um, if you use outside resources, which means something beyond the textbook or my lecture videos, then use proper citations. There's something in the important stuff module that tells you how to cite for this class. Um, you may not use online help sources to answer your homework questions. Uh, <clears throat> I had students submitting homework questions to Chegg, for example, and they got answers back. The funny thing is the answers were not answering the question I asked and um, uh, found out that they were using that as their information source um, and they ended up failing the class uh, because they actually did it a couple times, even though I talked to them about it. So um, I'm very serious about the cheating. Don't do it, okay? Um, you can figure all of this out or you can ask for help to figure it out. Um, spring always brings snow days, but you're online, so don't worry about campus closures. Um, you can read the incomplete grade policy, the grievance policy, letters of recommendation, and um, some links for academic calendars and, and that kind of stuff. Um, let me look through my notes really quick. Um, I think that covers everything. So again, welcome to spring semester. Um, let me know how I can help you succeed. And I um, look forward to meeting you all at least virtually through the Introduce Yourself discussion. All right, bye.